Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to The Fall and they will be performing Psycho Mafia. Uh, this is a live in the studio version at the BBC Radio and it was recorded in 1978. So here we go. These are The Fall. And that's from that cuddly set at Step Forward Records, Bingo Masters Breakout, the name of the EP, those are the four, and Psycho Mafia. These are the Um Yeah, so that was the four and Psycho Mafia. Uh that was recorded uh I'm not sure it was recorded or whether it was um Played on the 17th of August 1978. I really like the John Peel uh, recordings. He got some real good bands in there, bands that a lot of other uh, radio stations weren't playing, a lot of other DJs that weren't playing. Um, got them in there to do a couple of songs live in the studio and had a conversation with them and um, yeah I'm not a big fan of radio at all uh, but John Peel I do like uh, I think he did great stuff um, and really uh, helped especially punk post-punk grunge uh, the kind of alternative rock bands that the mainstream ignored um, he gave them a platform to get their music out there, uh, which I think is a great thing. Um, yeah, I thought all the instruments were good, especially the the rhythm section, the, the drums, uh, which was Carl Bones, I believe, and bass, Tony Friel, Marky Smith on vocals, um, Una Baines on electric piano, Martin Brahma on guitar. Well, I think that's who they are on the album. I'm guessing it's still the li same lineup. The, the full changed lineup 
so many times. I don't think Mark E. Smith was the easiest person to work with. Um, and they were, they put out so many albums, they've got such a big catalogue. I'm not a, a big Fall fan, I like most of what I've heard, but I've probably only haven't even heard a quarter of what they've put out. Um, they're all continually putting out new material. Um, but a bit about them. The Fall were an English post-punk group uh, formed in 1976 in Prestwich, Greater Manchester. Um, I would say they had kind of a, a punchier punk kind of thing going on in the early years, the first few years. I think this is probably an example of that before they kind of got more, uh, found their voice in the post-punk genre. Uh, just my feeling from what I've heard. Um, they underwent many lineup changes with vocalist and founder Mark E. Smith as the only constant member. The Falls' long term musicians included drummers Paul Hanley, Simon Wilsoncroft, and Carl Burns, guitarist Craig Scanlon, Mark Riley, and Bricks Smith, and bassist Steve Hanley, whose melodic circular bass lines are widely credited with shaping the band's sound from the early 1980s albums such as Hex Induction Hour to the late 1990s. First associated with the late 1970s punk movement, the Falls music underwent numerous stylistic changes, often concurrently with changes in the group's lineup, uh, which often happens especially if you somebody leaves the band that um, has a very distinct sound um, it's always going to change the sound of the band their music was generally characterized by an abrasive repetitive guitar driven sound tense bass and drum rhythms and Smith's caustic lyrics the Bingo Masters Breakout EP was released on August 11th, 1978. Um, Soko Mafia was the first uh, track written by Marky e. Smith and Tony Friel. The song was also track three on their 1981 compilation album 77 early years 79 and i think it appeared on their live album was it a live album live at the witch trials i think anyway i enjoyed that i always enjoy a bit of the fall um, hope you enjoyed the video if you did and you would like to support the channel the best way you can do that is by liking subscribing and commenting it all helps and i'd like to see you in another video soon thanks for watching